acknowledge that the land upon which we gather is unceded Mi'kmaq territory, and we pay our respects to the indigenous Mi'kmaq people of this territory, past, present, and future. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for our graduates.
challenge themselves further through Shad Valley, Science Stairs, and the BioChoose Challenge. Mrs. Gill has indeed been an invaluable member of the CRHS community, and her presence will be missed. Mrs. Nancy Conley has had a varied career teaching French in Nova Scotia and BBI schools. It has been our pleasure for the last 10 years to have Mrs. Conley on staff. She has taught all three grades, our provincial curriculum, and has worked in our international baccalaureate program as well. Mrs. Conley, too, has held high standards for her students and for herself. Together, they learned the French language, and they learned to use the French language. And we wish both ladies all the best in their retirement.
Yanu is awarded a UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement $3,000 award. is awarded a C. 
CRHS Student Recognition Award.
Welcome administrators, teachers, family, friends, and most importantly, my fellow graduates. We made it. I'm so excited to say that we are the graduating class of Charlottetown Hill High School 2021. We made it through lockdowns, a new way of learning, and the realization that we may not want to admit we actually wanted to be at school this year. Even though this year was filled with so much unpredictability, this unpredictability is something that I would never want to change. We made our last year as a Raider a more memorable one, and one that history will remember as well. I don't want to spend this whole speech talking about the pandemic though. I'm sure that we have all seen enough news coverage and had to write enough self-reflections to last us another semester. So let's just end with this statement. COVID-19 sucks, <laughs> but our time at Charlottetown Rural certainly did not. This year was filled with wins, losses, triumphs, and failures. These words may sound like polar opposites, but in my eyes, they all lead to one final place, of our own personal success. Today, when I look out at our graduating class, I see a destination of success for each and every single one of us. When I started to write this speech, I googled how to start a valedictorian speech, speech sorry, because truly, I had no clue where to start. The one thing that Honor Society Report said was, and I quote, whatever you do, do not talk about Merriam-Webster's Dictionary. But anyways, Merriam-Webster's Dictionary defines success as the accomplishment of an aim or purpose. What I think we sometimes fail to remember is the accomplishment, aim, or purpose that the definition talks about is not set by our society, friends, or family, but us and no one else. We choose what we want our success to be, and when we let others choose these successes for us, we truly lose track of what we actually want in our lives. When I look at all of us, I see future medical professionals, leaders, adventurers, entrepreneurs, engineers, climate change activists, advocates for injustice, and global citizens, and people who truly care about how our actions affect others, our society, and our planet. This year has all taught us a very valuable lesson, that stability is never guaranteed. School has given us comfort and steadiness, but life is full of bumps, bruises, and hard decisions. And now, it's time for us to make these hard decisions for ourselves. But before we head out to take on the world ourselves, we need to say thank you, of course. Thank you to the administrators, Mr. McIsaac, who hopefully will in his spare time, because he has one of the best poker faces that I have ever seen in the past three years of Chumatanra. But he has always been caring and welcoming to each and every single one of us. Ms. Bryden, the brains behind SAS, who made sure we even qualified to walk across the stage today to receive our diplomas. Mr. Wynn, our in-house drill sergeant, who always wanted the best for us. And Ms. Rio, of course, who may want to invest in a Fitbit and GPS, so she can track her stats and we can track her workouts around the school. Thank you to the teachers, who spend their lives dedicated to bettering others. And don't forget to thank that one teacher who made a lasting impact for your life. These teachers never know how much they truly impact us. Thank you to the support staff who kept our school clean and organized, and of course, especially this year, sanitized. And thank you to the parents and guardians for truly being there from the very beginning. They walked us into kindergarten holding our hands, and now they are here to walk us out of high school, maybe not holding our hands this time. And finally, my fellow graduates, thank you for taking this journey with me. We have somehow made it here without even finishing grade 11, which I believe is this accomplishment in itself. But we have made a lifetime supply of smiles, laughter, and memories, and it truly is an honor to be graduating here with you today. I would like to end today off with a kahoot. Sorry, I meant quote. There are two primary choices in life, to accept the conditions as they exist, or to accept that responsibility for changing those conditions. Dr. Dennis Wade and let us be the ones who make that change. I have truly been honored to be a valedictorian this year. Congratulations, Charlotte Hanover High School, graduating class of 2021. Leave your handprints in the world. Your legacy is something that will outlive you and never will be forgotten. Thank you, congratulations.
At this time, I would ask the graduates to please rise. The tassel on your graduation order represents your student goals while you're at school. At this time, I would ask you to take the tassel and move it from the right side of your order to the left, which symbolizes the achievements of your goals. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in congratulating the Charlottetown Earl graduating class of 2021.